Namaste Losties. Coming up, we're going to be blowing your emails and your theories out of the water. Bring it on. Plus, we're going to discuss the relationship between Ben Linus and Charles Widmore. Hmm, just what is going on there? And we're going to be giving you our theories on how season five may or may not possibly end. Welcome to the midweek edition of the official fan show for Lost on Sky One. You know these guys. Look, this guy over here, it's GT, otherwise known as Geeky Tom. Oh, that's GT. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Oh, no, I'm never going to call you it again, though. Over here, <laughs> it's my good friend and uh, good buddy, Paul Terry, editor of the official Lost magazine. Hello, sir. Now, Dharma, let's have a little recap of Dharma, shall we? Who knows what Dharma stands for? Department of Heuristics and Research on Material Applications. Let's start from zero, zero. Let's have a little game. I'm going to give you the name of a Dharma station. You tell me what, uh, what you know about it. The staff. Uh, medical station. <laughs> medical, medical, medical station. Well station. done. Oh, One yeah. nil. The swan. Pushing the button. Well done. Oh. Electromagnetic research and containment. Two nil. The flame. Yes, I know a lot about you, John Locke. Oh, uh, communication. Well Mikhail. done. Yes, yes. communication. Mikhail. Mikhail's home. The pearl. Uh, the underground station, uh, where, where they were writing notes, picking up in, into tubes, <laughs> flying up, they were going nowhere. He's, He's doing a blinder. And it was, it was the, where the drug plane crashed, and it actually had a symbol right. on the ground. Now okay. you don't get any bonus Just points for on. being a bum Come on. Come on. The orchid. Oh, well, that's easy. That's the uh, where donkey wood is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just talks too quickly. You could talk. I yes, can't the, talk the, that quickly. The space time travel facility disguised as a botanical station. The Hydra. Uh, it's the um, the uh, it's the off island one, the mini island where there were polar bears in a cave. Yeah, the zoological research six Gosh. nil. Uh, the looking glass. Underwater. Oh, the one the water oh, station. Oh, seven nil. This is terrible. Uh, the tempest. Oh. Paul, let's put that in. No, I can't. I can't do a whitewash. Give give him a moment. Give him a moment. Ah, oh, the uh, the gassing station. Uh, oh. Well done. <laughs> uh, and the lamppost. <laughs> the lamp. Oh yeah, I keep thinking when you call it something else. The lamppost. Saw it this episode where the uh, pendulum. Is yeah, yeah, exactly. The return so, back yeah, to we, that. Yeah, come on. That's, that's shameful. <laughs> you're, you're about to lose your geeky status. Possibility, of course, that there is a modern Dharma initiative that clues are being given with things like the lamp post. Well, we were told, yeah, in many episodes, the whole thing about the Dharma initiative, uh, the purge and ending uh, many years ago with the little tapes we've been watching with um, Marvin Candle. Yep. Um, so, yeah, it seems like um, it hasn't completely finished because we're in modern times off the island on the mainland. There's the lamp post, and it's still, even if it's not the Dharma initiative running it, there's still Eloise Hall. Still functioning. Stuff. Still exactly. looks pretty clean and pretty. It's still moving. Today. Yeah, it's still moving that pendulum. We don't know who is running Dharma. No. <laughs> Widmore. Really? Got to be, isn't it? It's got to be. What about um, Alvor Hanzo? He got yeah. Yeah, what about this Hanzo? Actually, yeah, we haven't mentioned him or, or even heard. Quick recap of, of, of Alvor Hanzo, please. The Hanzo Foundation. Yeah. Was the uh, was the founders of the Dharma Institute? Mm. Surely, is mm. it the Hanzo Foundation? Dharma Institute always sort of like into. There was a Hanzo on the Black Rock, wasn't there? There wasn't there. Alvor Mag Hanzo was, and the yeah Magnus, Magnus Hanzo. The, 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 sorry, Magnus Hanzo. Yeah. Hanzo Foundation was created to stop the end of the world after World War Two, wasn't right. it? Where they made an equation to predict when the but world. But how much went. of this was let go in the lost experience stuff online? And how much all, was it on the program? Yeah, that's what I've got to remember. Would you agree that, that Widmore is possibly in charge of Dharma? It, well, he's an incredibly important character and, and family, I would imagine. I'm going to throw this out there. Maybe he's not in charge of um, Dharma and yep. Dharma still exists as a separate entity. Widmore is an other, was an other at some point. Mm and um, they're two separate factions fighting against each other in the others, whereas the Dharma Initiative actually is still maybe on the island. In fact, maybe when we see Jin, that's yeah. not, they maybe, maybe, maybe that's not back in time, but actually current day. I would like that. And so maybe they're trying to fool you into thinking that it's in the past, but actually it's good. the Dharma Initiative yeah. are still on the island. Top marks. Tell us who, I want to know your revelation you had. Don't you remember? Daniel runs Dharma. That's what I'm talking about, kids. Daniel is in charge of Dharma. You know what? He looks very similar to Alvar Hanzo later on in life, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. Why, why couldn't he? He's the fact that he has uh, jumped through time 
And the fact that he's obviously having an influence on time in that he, um, we think he, he, if he doesn't build it or design it, he, he at least suggests that they build the hatch to cover that nuclear, the, the H-bomb or the A-bomb, whatever it is. Did he suggest that? Well, pretty much. Mm, so you got, he said you got to bury that in concrete. No, but he didn't suggest that, did he? He said you got to bury that in concrete, didn't he? Oh, sorry, Jughead. Yes. To his own and mother, right? Yes. So sorry, uh, sorry. He's, we've seen him in episode one building the orchid, at least being in the construction of the orchid. He's met his mum like in Back to the Future. He's, he's been around. He's, yeah. he's been around. So it's possible that he is, he jumps to somewhere else in time and uh, and creates Dharma or takes over Dharma or whatever. I like that. But I, I'm I'm liking Tom's sort of separate faction idea that you know that Widmore and all that. It's almost like another red herring that they're operating outside of that and there's another group mm. which we're yet to uh, uncover. Well, not really yet to uncover, but it's Dharma we don't still know, exists. It's, yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got a post on uh, the forum from uh, Blackadder. These, these are about the Dharma oh, Initiative. Fantastic. If Ms. Hawking is ex island Dharma. We don't think she is. Uh, no, she's... She's another. Yeah. Then maybe she was off-island at the time of the purge, it's very likely, and is trying to set things up for the return of the Dharma Initiative. Is she the last surviving Dharma Initiative member? No. Don't no. She's, no. <laughs> there was one point, again, in season three, where Mikhail says, I'm the last surviving member of the Dharma Initiative. Oh, and then later on he goes, I was lying. So we don't know. We got, we got no idea. Uh, I do. I do hope, and we're going to have to see more Mikhail in season five. We have to. So good. Richard Stone says it's interesting to note that the Dharma Initiative seemed to have no trouble having children on the island in 1979, a year before the incident. Uh, we have a forum post on the incident. It's from an, an anonymous. No name is given. Well, Ooh. mysterious. Dr. Marvin Candle is aware of the risks to not drill through to the wheel. Okay, this is when they're constructing the orchid station, yeah. which we see at the beginning mm. of the season. Um, maybe Faraday thinks he needs to get to the donkey wheel and turn it back to stop the time shifting. This could cause the incident. Okay. Now, well, of course, yes. Okay, yes. Is that, that makes some sense. Now, the, the, the Losties are in Dharma time. They themselves may have caused the incident to stop the island from flashing. We know that the Swan Station button pushing was implemented as a result of the incident, so the button pushing was actually caused by the Losties. Yeah, I like that. I think things yeah. can start to connect. I think that, you know, unanswered questions from the rest of the season will be because of, you know, you know, like in Back to the Future. Yeah, yeah, very much. No, I'm just trying to get my head around it, so I've gone a little bit silent. Mm. But yes, the incident could be, uh, the, oh, of course, at the beginning of this season, uh, you've noticed I've started saying season, not series. Yeah. They've won that battle, but at the end of <laughs> uh, at the beginning of this season, when um, the dude is about is trying he's trying to drill through the wall, and he says yeah. to Marvin Candle that we've broken six drill bits. Whoa! Hey, don't do any more drilling because yeah. something is going to happen. Yeah. So I'm guessing they do a bit more drilling, and that's done creates yeah. the incident. There you go, stupid builders and they're drilling. Yeah, hey. yeah. It's like when I had a leak in my flat for a week because of builders, but perhaps a little bit worse. Was there a purge? Uh, there was no purge. Ah. Well, I purged those builders and got some decent ones in. <laughs> oh, hey, this is exciting. We've got a camera phone message uh, from Poppy. Let's have a look and see what Poppy's got to say for herself. Namaste. Okay, my theory is that I was thinking it's quite coincidental that some of the people actually ended up on the plane. Like, how class was the weird guy who told her that she had to give up her baby? But maybe someone did it on purpose, like Ben, because somehow he knew the Losties needed to get on the island, so he figured out ways in which to get them all there. Or Charles, in some weird attempt to, like, try and get to the island somehow. There's some good, no, there's some good stuff in there. She's oh. suggesting that Charles is using the Losties to get himself to the island somehow. Here's a thought that we haven't discussed. Maybe Charles Widmore is on that plane. Is on the Ajira Airways that we saw in uh, episode 316. That would be, uh, that would be. And he would dramatic. get zapped in, onto the island himself because he's got a connection with it. Magnetised, like my little magnetised theory last week, you know, with a. But it, it's a possibility that he's on that, that plane. Hiding in the back of a wig and glasses and a hat. But why not? We don't know who's in the back of the plane. And it, when Jack says what's going to happen to them, who cares? You know, but we don't know he's not on that plane. We, it, it's, it's possible borderline likely that he's he's persuaded either Sun or Saeed or Kate or Hurley or all of them to go on that plane yeah, and create that yeah, journey. Yeah, but to interrupt to go on with this one, but does he actually want to get back on the island or does he just want the island? You know, as a, it's mine type well, He thing. wants to get back on the island. You sure? Yeah. 
Okay, well, that's all right then, don't worry then. Why would he, but surely <laughs> owning the island, if the island is moving, and we now know the island is not only moving through time, it's physically yeah. moving, uh, then he, to own an island, he needs to be on that island. Maybe he's got some disease or something that he needs to cure. Ben, ben Linus and Charles Woodmore, they, they obviously have some trouble going on. Um, how long, let's have some theories about how long we think their feud has been going well, on for. We haven't talked about the rules. Tell yet. us about the rules, Paul Terry. Okay, so if breaking the rules uh, was killing Alex, what, would they have sat down and formulated some kind of like rule list? Literally, you can't do that, you can't, you can do no that. No faces. You can't do that. No, I'd punch each other in the face and, no, and no daughters. But no, no one's... <laughs> Well, no daughter seems to be the only rule we know of. You kill, you've killed, uh, he's killed Alex's daughter, so Ben has the right to go off and kill Penny, which I do think he might have made an attempt to do in the, the last Not very episode. well, though. It's, it's, getting, it's, getting, it's getting complicated. It's getting complicated, It's getting yeah, complicated, it's getting Lost fans. Yeah. Just send us in your theories. Uh, if you, we, we have got a couple of emails here um, about Ben and Charles. This is from Thomas Zabala. I think that Widmore was in place to be the next leader of the others after Richard Alpert, but was debunked by Ben Linus, who we saw speaking to Richard in the jungle in his flashback in season three, The Man Behind the Curtain. Okay, I'm the man behind the curtain. Yeah, okay. It could explain why Widmore claims ownership of the island when in Jughead, the island is clearly not his. That would explain it, that Widmore was next in line and suddenly this, this wonder kid appears on the island, Ben Linus, and it's, everything is handed over to him. Yeah, why, why is it all handed over? Maybe Widmore's expelled though. I, I kind of feel that Widmore gets expelled and then Ben, uh, Richard Alpert comes to Ben and goes, do you want to be the, the next leader? Okay, well, an email from uh, Dylan Nelson. Uh, good name, Dylan. Uh, ben and Widmore used to work together for the Dharma Initiative. Ben manipulated Widmore into moving the island to get rid of his rival. They needed to know where they would end up if they left the island, so they attached a tag to the polar bear's ankle. Ben got Widmore to guide the bear, it was a baby bear, to turn the wheel. I love it. Well, this, is, now, well, this is great. We're laughing at that. No, but but I'm loving it. I'm laughing at it. Then I read the next sentence. Remember the fish biscuit training. It's for getting Widmore off the island. Because they had to spin a wheel. They had to spin a wheel, didn't yeah, they? they did, didn't they? There could be there could be something in that. I, I, yeah. and of course, there's something in it. I've retracted my laughter. No, yes, of course there's something I in have. it because there's a polar bear in the middle of the Tunisian desert. So of course the polar bear had to spin the wheel to test whether it actually transported him. That's fantastic. That's, who wrote that? Who was that? So Dylan, That's Dylan, Dylan Nelson. Nelson. Cool name, Dylan but a Nelson. cool theory. Of Tell course, him. a polar bear was well, a polar bear was trained in the the, uh, the the zoo to spin the wheel. They got him to spin the wheel. <laughs> he disappeared in the Tunisian desert. That's genius, that isn't it? That is very good. That's yeah. very good. That's, I, I, there we go. That's, you, you've won the thumbs up fun award. That's the best theory we've had sent into us, I, I think. I think that's more legitimate reason to get him in the in the studio at the end of the season than the... Uh, well, let's not get Oscars, carried away. You know. Let's not get carried away. It could be a lunatic for all we know. But Dylan, thank you very much. That's absolutely superb. I'm, very rarely we get excited by a theory that's been sent in, but that's brilliant. If uh, you want to send us a theory, then the email is lost on sky1 at sky.com. Lost on sky1 at sky.com. We're on Bebo, Twitter, Facebook and MySpace. Uh, let's, uh, let's quickly, before we finish, uh, have our predictions on how we think, uh, what we think we might see in this series and how I, I think I'll end. I've just had a thought. Wouldn't it be wonderful if at some point in series five, we saw the real Henry Gale? Think. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking. Who's okay. Henry Gale? Well, the guy in the Come on, the editor of Lost Magazine. Yeah, the guy in the Yeah, the guy in the Well, wouldn't it be great to know what Henry Gale's story is? It would be a lovely little flashback. So yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, okay, my predictions for this series are uh, Henry Gale is going to uh, pop up again at some point, the real, the real Henry Gale, that the Losties are going to see their own plane crash on the island. Uh, something that we, we mentioned last week, I think, that uh, in the scene in season three, I think it is, where um, a few of them are in the jungle, then they're surrounded. Uh, Tom says, light up, and they're surrounded by a sea of torches. I think oh, that yeah, that's going to be the Losties Tom's holding there. up uh, the, the, the torches. Um, and I think that uh, Aaron and Claire are going to have a spectacular reunion. Tom? Um, the Black Rock will see it crashing. Yeah, yeah. That will be the last episode, actually. That will be the final scene of, and we'll see everybody on the Black Rock. Well done. And, and there'll be somebody there that you don't expect to be on there. What? Ben. Thank you. And Paul, your, your theories on I, what I, you think is going to happen? I, I was going to say, what you're saying about Aaron, I'm still focused on the whole thing about children being important and Aaron and uh, Walt as well, of course, because he had special powers and, he's, and he frightened the others. Mm. They said we, he had powers that we didn't you yeah. know, anticipate. 
So um, that's my mind is focused on you know the power of the children at the moment. Yeah. Good stuff, lovely. <laughs> Uh, join us on Sunday when we're going to be discussing episode 7. Oh, what a title. The Life and Death of Jeremy Bentham. Oh, come on. What a title. High five, Tom. That's going to be... Come on. Come on. That's, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I've waited for. Uh, yeah. In the meantime, you can watch all of our Lost Initiative shows so far at sky.com forward slash lost. Keep your theories and your emails coming until Sunday. I must say. Hi, my name is Moyo. My theory is that in episode 5, this place is death. Christian says to Locke that when I was listening to Ben, got him anything worth a damn. This leads me to think that in season 4 finale, just before Ben turned the donkey wheel, he apologised to Locke and said, I'm sorry for making your life so miserable. But rather than apologising for things that have happened in the past, I think Ben was apologising for things that were about to happen to Locke. I didn't want to win. I didn't want to win. That's shameful.